Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Cumulus here today. How are you? You know, everybody's got a hero. You ever thought about it? Everybody's got a hero, rather be through music, through movies, all kinds, all kinds of different sources out there of who your hero is. You know, one of my heroes is, um, her name is Crystal Wicker. She's a weather hero for me. Why is that? Why, why did I mention the name? You know I rarely don't do this, but I'm doing this because I have a weather hero that doesn't mind me sharing about her. And she has a website of her very own. Now then you can see right here, it looks like it says Weather Whiz Kids. And in fact, this is the homepage you're actually looking at right now. I'm going to take you through her website. She's got some really, really neat stuff. If Crystal, if you're watching this, go Weather Heroes, you know. Everybody else that's watching this, I know it seems like a major close-up. Anyway, I wanted to point out Crystal's website. She's got an awesome website. Now then, whenever I say this, I'm not talking about awesome as in, you know, if you're a professional meteorologist, this is your kind of site. This is for all ages. But what I like about this that she has done is she has made this enabled where kids can see this, where kids can understand it, kids can do stuff. So let's click right here where it says Weather Whiz Kids up here at the top left. All right, looky here. She has a store of selection of toys and, well, not really toys, but she has a selection of a few things. Weather Whiz Kids pencils, uh, Bug Catcher Kit, Tornado Tube. If you would like to know how that works, but then there's more to this website than what you're just looking at. Uh, superhero cape, kids t-shirt, kids backpack, a lot of really cool stuff and we're only on the first link, on the first link. Now she has, as you can see on here, she has links for tornadoes, hurricanes, winter storms, clouds, a lot of different things that affect today's weather as you know it. Now then, let's click on hurricanes. And then she explains to you what a hurricane actually is. Now to me, that's pretty cool to actually go to a website and you can click on something and it tells you what it is. Now you know my videos kind of teach you some of this stuff, but however, I want to point out Crystal's website because her, Chris, her website is really, really cool. I've never seen something that is able for kids to be able to actually click in, click a button. I mean, just, there's just so many cool things that she's got on the site. It talks about the Coriolis Force, which I have not talked to you yet about. She talks about the different, the Buford scale. She even has a link on here about, where did I see that link? I don't know, I saw it. She's got lessons plans in here if you're a teacher at a school. She has on here, I don't remember where I saw that. Ooh, there's the Saffir Simpson hurricane scale, which helps you determine what kind of hurricane it really is on the category scale. In case you don't know that, hurricane stages, she talks about those. Um, she, let's see. I don't remember where I saw that, but I know she has, oh wait, this might be it right here. Okay, let me rephrase that. Either way, she, this is really cool because she actually has, here we go, right here. You click on, be able to locate and track hurricanes. Hurricane tracking chart. She has the full Atlantic, the Western Pacific, Eastern Pacific, but you'll need a Adobe Acrobat Reader, however, to do all this. Now then, right now, the link for the Atlantic track chart to PDF. This is all found on nationalhurricanecenter.noaa.gov, nhc.noaa.gov. It's got a great resource. And there you go. There is your um, tracking chart. So, you know, she's got links to some trustworthy, respectable websites. She's got in here about wildfires. No. She's a weather enthusiast. She's a weather hero. Why would she talk about wildfires? Because wildfires affect today's weather just as much as climate, volcanoes, believe it or not. Earthquakes, she talks about those. Yes, they can cause a small but gradual effect on the, today's weather. Optical illusions to include Aurora Borealis. In fact, let's take a click on that link, shall we? Why is the sky blue? And she explains that in a very good way and everything. You've just got to see this site for yourself. I can say more than certainly that this is an impressive website. What causes auroras? She explains that very well and she's got some beautiful pictures. Crepuscular rays, which I call God's rays in case some of you didn't know that. She talks about everything on here. And it's just amazing. It's just truly amazing. It's just, just so many different things that she has on this website that are beyond, just beyond words of amazement. And great for the kids too. This is family appropriate. This is family level. Makes it easy for your kids to understand. Weather experiments. She's actually working on some cool stuff with these. 
experiments that you could do at home and very well at home too if you have the right stuff however if you're gonna let kids do it make sure you're watching them please don't be dumb and be like oh kids play with this uh, baking soda volcano because it's really fun you gotta be careful because some kids they just get a little too excited and next thing you know some bad stuff happens so watch out for your kids when they're doing this stuff weather safety wow you know she talks about things for lightning and hurricane I mean these small little things no matter where you're at some of this stuff will apply to you weather instruments she gives you some good references and she also tells you what a lot of weather instruments are meant for you know one of my personal favorites that she has on here is lacrosse technology as well as Davis instruments so there's so many different links flashcards weather jokes weather games uh, weather words you know the big words that kids don't understand she has them in an easy way weather photos I'm sure she's yep she's got a whole bunch of pictures on here she's got some good pictures of Mamatis now these photos that are on here she actually apparently which are looks like they're donated and there's nothing wrong with that in fact I'm sure you can contact her and she will be glad to help you know how you can donate some more these are just some great great tools just to help you get barely started you know, if you watch my stuff, then you know that I get a little really in-depth with this stuff. But she makes it easy for you to start out. She has on here a link called Career Corner. How you become a meteorologist, colleges, university, jobs in meteorology. And there's a lot of them, whenever you think about it. And if you've never researched it before, OU is a great school, Texas A&M, there's a lot of different schools. Uh, she even has her own email address, so you can contact her and would like to see her site. Also, she has on here uh, a little bi biography about her, which is pretty cool. Uh, just a little hint for you. She actually works in Indiana, Lap Indianapolis, Indiana. So, if you are in Indianapolis, Indiana, and you watched WRTV, then I'm sure you've recognized her. If you're somewhere else, it never, never hurts to take a good look. She's got just a great biography of her life. That is why she is my weather hero, because her life sounds a lot like mine. And Crystal, if you're watching this, I can't wait till I have a, I have a degree too. I cannot wait. That way, me and you could be like teaching partners. But she's got some cool stuff on here. She's got kids' questions. You know, why is the sky blue? She, and I would have to assume that these questions, yep, these questions are asked by kids. You know, these kids are asking, and it's great. Kids are wanting to learn. That is more than awesome. You know, kids want to know how do clouds form? How do hurricanes form? And these kids are, I think so far, the old sage I've seen on is 13. You know, it's amazing, and she makes this so easy for you to understand. So don't be afraid to check out her site. Trust me, you will be thankful to her. She has weather links. She has just amazing stuff. And she's got my favorite weather link on here too. www.denws, which stands for National Weather Service, .noa.gov. That's my favorite link. She's got on here, if you want to advertise with her, she'll hook you up with that as well. So, I'm not really going to spoil too much of your fun on this website, even though I kind of might have have, but she's just got some great links. I really, really, really do recommend that you check them out. Again, this is Dr. Cumulus. I wanted to just take the time to, you know, let you see my weather hero. Her name, again, is Crystal Wicker. Her website, www.weatherwizkids.com. Be sure that you check this out. You are missing out on a great opportunity if you haven't yet. She even has a Facebook, a survival kit. She's got news about the recent volcanoes in Europe. Well, technically Iceland, but still overseas and not from America. So I don't think a volcano has hit America in a long time. Anyway, please be sure to check out her site. Hope you have a great day. And thank you so much for your interest in Justin's Wild Weather Adventure, where learning is an adventure, and as well as weatherwizkids.com. Brought to you by Crystal Wicker. Hope you have a great day. Take care until next time. Be ready for new productions coming your way.